Welcome everyone to let's, a new episode of Let's Play FF7. And as you can tell, I jumped straight to the Julian Airport. So let's get everything started. And we see the airplanes ready to fly and crap, you know. The typical. I'm gonna say it's one huge plane. How can I even say a float in the air? Don't answer the question. It's a rhetorical question, guys. It's all rhetorical. Okay. Oh no! Huge material! Can we go after it? Hey, where, where are they headed? Rocketon, of course. So now we're off to Rocket Town. Woo! Hope everything goes alright as we get to Rocket Town. Do not missionary complete. Not so fast. We have one major task. We still have to transport the stuff. The stuff. What kind of stuff? Huh. Very intriguing. You silly soldier. Okay. Now, moving on. So, I'm pretty much going right to the, uh... Right to Rocket Town. Cause that's where we get the next huge materia. And this is actually a material you can miss, like many of the other materia. But this is a has a valid reason why you can miss it. But thankfully I remember it is somewhat. So now I'm walking back out. Running back out, rather. Oh, the llama ride. Do 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 about no the background of what's going on as in you know why people are outside the shimmers says about watching that piece of crap rocket yeah they're really serious about it there's a bunch of shimmer people here messing with the rocket oh shit is my rocket all right don't worry grandpa we'll get your rocket back and i think right here i had switched up my team members so, but to be honest, every every time I play this part, I always use Briscoe, or you know, Sid Highway. But I wonder how different it would be if I was to use uh, somebody else. But yeah, what else? See, so, yeah, this is not a typical me always trying to, you know, set up my. Can't think of the word. You guys know my uh, material and stuff. And. Yeah, it shouldn't take that much longer though. So, since you're watching this, I have to say, I think I have found out what um, HD PVR I will be getting next. I may be getting the Aver Media, if that's the name of it. Mainly because, like, since I'm. You know, I will be recording from a PS2. There's no reason to get a an HD, like an actual thing, like a hot pod or something like that. And it's in my price range, so it'll help a whole lot for me. And uh, but the day, like a week before I start my next let's play, I will be um, showing a video of what that game is. And a lot of people have, I know I haven't played it, so it'll be a pretty interesting um, LP. And a pretty comic one at that. Mmm, a spectacle! Is something about to happen, or I'm getting excited? Okay, that's nice, you're getting excited. Trying to scare me later. Now, this place. Those terrorists are here! Wait, we're terrorists? Oh crap. 
Okay, so this is pretty simple right here. I mean, really, really, really simple. You're just fighting simple old soldiers. Definitely not hard at all. You guys should know what that already causes. I believe darkness and uh, sleep. Wait a second. Grenada. Oh, easy. Now for this guy. No, no, two, three, four, later. Next is fight two. Kazuki, Rojo, and Risto. I ride up the stairs. I'm not going to get any farther. Anyone, attack! There we go. I think this is another three on two. Yep, another three on two. Very, very simple stuff here. What about an enemy that's turned backwards for a second? I guess how they have so many turns. Like, holy crap. Oh, easy. Okay, so there's enough for me singing. But for some reason, I really like that boss theme, so. Alright, let's continue. Now we fight the next three enemies. Uh, we're not going anywhere. Uh, uh, nowhere. Yeah, we are. Okay. So now it's a typical three on three. Very easy uh, enemies. Simply because. You guys saw how they were. A couple times. I seriously love the graphics for that. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, he has some health on him. Doesn't get steel. Oh, crap. Effort be cool with your help. Hellfire! Oh shit. I love that sound effect right there. It sounds much more, you know, like a monstrosity. And it sounds so strong and large. I can't even explain how good it sounds. Bye bye. And you think we're done yet? Nope. The music's still rolling. Level up, Briscoe. Damn it, what the hell do they think they're gonna do with my rocket? I'm out of here, Kazuki. I wanna kick off, whip, and shimmer right out of my rocket. Come on, let's go! And now we're near.
here in the top of the rocket. And then we're gonna see a very familiar face. A very annoying face at that. Look at who it is, it's rude! Who again? Who would live in A1 we can share with white? Yes, sir! Okay, now for Rude, right now you can actually get one of his, well actually, if you steal properly, you will be able to get, uh, I believe it's called the Zyrak, which is an, an accessory I think, no it's not an accessory, it's a, uh, armor, I'm not really fond of the actual components of the armor, but, yeah, you can get the, uh, Zyrak. Room. It's a really good, you know, armor to play in the game. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yep, this is that. Yep, this is that. Like, holy crap! Oh, that hurt it. That much like fire press. See the experience points for this one. Four thousand? Oh, Katsuki was so close. Oh man. Uh -oh. Thank God. But I honestly wonder one thing. How in the world did all six of those? People, fit you, you. Why are you here? Rule and the Turk should have been here. Too bad. Those guys are over there. Oh man, the Turks be done it like that. But I won't get you through. Oh, man, why don't you just run away while you could? Oh well, it's your friend anyways. Yeah. Very, just uh, like a very simple battle with this guy. But rock song. Oh look, he's a frog now. So easy for me now. I didn't even realize he was able to be, you know. Hit with that. Bye bye. Oh no. Dang it, he's not dead yet. Now he's dead. But I honestly don't understand, like, why couldn't it have been, you know, brewed inside the rocket and not the, um, you know, not the guy I just, I just killed. Maybe if I learn how to use the, um, the programs they have, I might be able to learn how to do it. 
does my that's gonna take a lot of work to actually, you know, change things around and stuff. Hey, what the hell are you guys doing? Hey, this girl thought something was going on and you come back. Listen to me, Captain. We're gonna launch this rocket. Huh? What are you talking about? We're gonna launch a material bomb in this and blow a meteor. Our rocket's gonna save the planet. Uh, man, this is so cool! Wait a minute! Shut up! Just shut the hell up! Oh. How's the rocket? It's pretty much okay. Uh, but. The plans to run into, into Meteor on other power, but the most important device is broken. It's broken. How's the repair going? Share is doing it. Oh, great. What a bunch of what you guys are. It's going to take a hundred years. <laughs> I'll take over. So don't worry about the autopilot. Okay, go ahead. Go tell everyone. All right, Gavin. Good luck. It's like, uh, okay. Hey, Briscoe, what are you doing? There are generations of knowledge and wisdom inside the materia. We're going to borrow their powers and save the planet from Sephiroth. There's no way we can lose the materia. You understand that, right? Yeah, I understand. I understand that materia is precious and I also understand what you're thinking. But listen, I don't give a rat's ass whether it's science or magical power. Nope, I guess if I had to choose, I'd rather put my money on the power of science. Humans only used to walk around the ground, but now they can fly. And finally, we're about to go into outer space. Science is a power created and developed by humans, and science just might be what saved this planet. I was able to earn my living with the science, so to me, there's nothing greater. I really love the voice I'm doing. Now quit your worrying about what Shira's gonna do. I don't want to regret not having done something later. But Frisco, shut the hell up. I don't want to hear it. Alright, time to get to work. Anyone who ain't involved, get the hell out of here. There's only two other people. What the hell? What the hell happened? Hey! hey. Palmer, what the hell did he do? They said they finished repairing all the weapons, so I launched it. Goddamn, Sharia! Why should you today to get fired? Damn! What do you mean, bud? It's gonna be locked up. Hey, hey, hey! Almost left off. What the? No countdown. It don't seem the same without it. Hey, hey, hey! Blast off! Wow. Mimicking Palmer is annoying. <laughs> hey. Three, two, one. Blast off. That's what that's that's how it does like my Mook and uh announcer. It goes like three, two, one, play. And like three, two, one, blast off. We have now we're going to outer space. Uh -huh. Holy crap. Something's telling me I should have brought Ayako on the trip so she can get sick again. Whoa. I just wanted something. Shouldn't they all be sitting down, not standing up? I'm going to artist face. I finally made it out of space. Let's see how the course set. Hmm. Yep, it's headed for collision with media. We're in space now, a long rest. Damn it! 
that damn Palmer went on his way to talk off the other power device. He may not be able to change course. Is this the end? Huh? What the hell are you saying? You're too young. Don't give up so easily. I'm not going to cry to media. Oh, that's pretty cool. Just watch. Keep an escape pad on a rock, and that's for emergency like this. What do you just touch? Uh, I just have for the lock code on an escape pod. We'll build right before we crash the media. Then the remaining question is what to do with the finished material. If you want the material, do whatever you want. The material should be there after you climb that ladder. You sure? I don't know. I know what I said a minute ago. Oh great, what big help it's go. But maybe all I'm anyone that wants us to go into outer space. So why don't you all do whatever you think is right? Alright, oh, now I'm back in control. And then we go up the stairs. I finally found huge material. Directions that the lock can be opened if you're in a pass code from this control panel. Does the current control panel try to operate it? Uh, duh. Or me, of course. Into the pass code. And this part is very annoying because, like, it's, it's really not that easy to just guess it on the first try. Like, as long as you. You know, play before you should know it. If not, it's not like we don't have the internet to find the hazard or So what am I supposed to answer the passcode in? In what order rather? I don't know. I'm trying to punch it in and call it randomly. Okay, so the first one was circle. The second one is square. The third one is X. And the fourth one is X. Password confirmed, identify as authorized user unlocked. Now the funny thing is that I'm using a 360 controller, so for me it was BXAA. But eh. Whoa, pretty good. You got the passcode on a single track. You must have known the passcode. If not, it's impossible. And now uh, lo and behold, we have these materia. Number three. All that's left is the one on, on the uh, Galenka. Do we have all four? Then we can get Bahamut Zero! Or Bahamut. How you pronounce this damn name? Now I'm going down on that. Okay, and now this is where the fun begins. What the hell? Oh, shit. Hmm? Wait, Sherry was in there the whole time? What's she doing in there? Well, rhetorical question number two. Damn, my leg's stuck in the debris. Let's go! 
<laughs> Funny how they're trying to. No, I can't lift it. <laughs> like, no, I cannot lift it. Don't worry about me. Hurry up and go. You don't hurry, the rocket's gonna crash the media. I can't go without my friends. Okay. You. Whatever. No time to worry about other people. I want to do whatever I can. You're stupid. You're really bleeping stupid. Take number eight blew up. So take number eight really was not functioning. After all these years. Share. You were right. But this is the end for me. Hmm? Don't say that, Briscoe. Huh? Shara? I tagged along. I'm coming to help you. She has a big head. Y'all stupid bleep whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Her, she, her head is bigger than her body. The escape pod is this way. Please hurry. <laughs> hurry. I'm going to attach the escape pod. Hey, Sharon, is this pod really flat? It'll be okay. I checked it. Then I'm relieved. Thanks. Oh, and now we are going back into orbit. Going back to the planet from outer space. This is out of space. Man, it's a real thing. I'm really hearing out of space. <laughs> it's funny how I'm a cop sticking. No, I bet, uh, you know, Rojo sticking. Sit down. So long, shooting number 26. The only thing Rojo is thinking is. Briscoe, sit down! <laughs> I can't imagine him saying. Okay, and now, the uh, spaceship, or rocket, number 20, number 26, is going straight towards the meteor, and. They're going right at light. I'm just saying. Bright light. I don't know why the game did that. <laughs> I, it just did that for some reason. I don't know. Okay, how did he see that? He's not even outside. Oh man, this is bright, and I'm on a Screen. And we're in right there is Sector Zero, or as we know as the Shinra uh, HQ. <sighs> then they slowly see if the meteor is still standing. That was really weird. 
is scary. Especially since, like, the back of the meteor is, like, broken apart already. I'm in Bogenhagen, it's like, no. It cannot be. There is no more hope. How I see it, right? How the guy in bulls fight. Damn it, there's nothing we can do. This sucks. Rufus and the others' plan was a failure. Yes, we helped it become a failure. <laughs> On a bus. But I kind of hoped that it worked. Let me bother with you, Mrs. Virginia. Brother, in no other way. When have we been around all this time? It makes you worry, doesn't it? Don't worry. Think. Hey, the girl's right. You start worrying, there ain't no stopping it. It just starts falling apart and get worse and worse. You feel damn optimistic. You go up to something? Yeah, I've been thinking about this and that. All the time, when I'm thinking about the planet, I've been thinking we were floating in the ocean at escape pod. I've been thinking too about the universe, planet, ocean, how wide and big, no matter where I go and what I do, whatever. Maybe you're right. But I came up with something different. I haven't thought this planet was so huge. But kind of from space, it realized it's so small. It is floating in the dark. Kind of makes me feel powerless. On top of that, it got a Sephiroth fence for knocking sickness. That's why I say this planet is still a kid. A little kid sick and trembling in the middle of this huge universe. Someone's got to protect it. You follow me? That someone is us. Prisco, that's beautiful. Yo, Prisco, you even got it to me. To me. Now what? I want to protect the planet for me. Oh. <laughs> like, uh. I'm just thinking about that. Uh. Ayako is still having summon problems. Huh? Did you hear something? It means the planet is scream. Who was it, Meteor? Hey, how do you know that this is really a planet scream? Who in Hagen told us? Who in Hagen? Who's your grandfather? It's Cosmo Canyon! I'm sure he'll be able to tell us something that will be helpful. That Book of Hagen guy, he was a weird old dude. I just think he was a hippie. He was like, into all the machines. Okay, next. Okay, here we go. The 
machines of Crackle Canyon were present of Dr. Gad. I up in the planet's strange notions, and now, science and planet lives to tell us how the old man's heart. Hurry, hurry, you must go meet Grandfather. I'm trying you know what I mean? Uh, Margaret Hagen looks to be a Shimmer so, Shimmer worker. He never imparted any weapon on Marco though. Uh, the book isn't gonna tell you anything? Uh, not nothing yet. One more person to talk to. Uh, There, it was all for Wu Tai, but I can't take much more of this. All right, guys, it's the end of this episode. I thank you guys for watching. And that's episode let's play FF7. We want to go to see Bugenhagen, or I ever say his name, and at uh, Cosmo Canyon. I thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next episode of Let's Play FF7. I will see you at the next, um, you know, episode. All right, see you later.